My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. For dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. In my freezer, I had these hickory smoked hot dogs from Brahms. Brahms is a local restaurant and um, like an ice cream store. You can buy all sorts of things in there. And uh, these were actually really big hot dogs. I know you can't really tell from their plate, but this is Howard's um, dinner. And he has some cheese and ketchup and he is eating cheddar cheese Pringles. And then this is my plate. I've got just some mustard on there and some Cheetos cheese puffs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. We are having some Asian food. So we are having this mandu chicken dumplings um, that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago during their Asian week. And these things are really, really good. I just pan fried them. And then we're also having some fried rice, this chicken fried rice from Bibigo. I've had this several times on our channel and I always um, say the best tip um, for cooking this rice is to actually fry it. So what I do is I put some oil in the pan and then I spread it out and put it on a high heat and let the rice kind of fry, if you will. Then I stir it around, flip it on the other side and do the same thing and it tastes just like restaurant quality. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe for creamy chicken and noodles. So in my skillet, I have some egg noodles that I have already cooked. I added some butter in there as well. What I have just added in is a tablespoon of um, dry Italian seasoning. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, of course. I'm adding in some fresh chopped parsley. And by the way, I do have a recipe for um, creamy chicken and noodles in the crock pot, which is totally different from this recipe. And I'll leave that in the description box as well. Now I'm adding in some cooked chopped chicken. This is, that's Harrison playing in the background. This is dark meat and white meat. Just adding that in. I've got my burner on medium heat. And now I'm adding in some heavy whipping cream. And the recipe calls for a fourth of a cup of Parmesan, but I am adding a cup of Parmesan cheese because a fourth of a cup, not quite enough for me. So I'm going to stir this until it is all combined and then I'll be back. Okay, so here is dinner and it is very, very good. So one change that I did make is that I ended up adding two tablespoons of the dry Italian salad dressing instead of one. Um, at first I prepared it as directed with the one tablespoon. Howard and I tasted it and we both said it was good, but it was lacking a little bit of flavor. I added in that second tablespoon and it is absolutely delicious. This was a really easy dinner to throw together. I'll definitely make it again. And I'm just serving it with a side of green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I had a package of three pork steaks in my freezer and Howard grilled them. We marinated them in this Heinz 57 sauce and then also used it to baste it as well. And then I just sauteed some fresh Brussels sprouts and the seasoning that I used for that was this um, mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's. I just sauteed it in a little bit of grapeseed oil. And then I tried out a new side dish today. That is Harrison, he is enjoying his dinner. Tried a new side dish for, um, these are baby potatoes that I cut in half. And then there's butter in there, cheddar cheese, bacon, and green onions. And I will make sure to link that recipe in the description box. I will say it cooked it for, it's said to cook it for 30 minutes. You have to cook it way longer than that. I ended up cooking mine for about 45, 50 minutes. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having this frozen pizza um, from our freezer. 
It is the Motor City Pizza Company Supreme Pizza. We really like this pizza. Haven't had it in a long time though, um, but it comes with uh, pepperoni, sausage, bell pepper, and red onions, and here it is. It comes with its own little deep dish um, tray and you bake it directly on the oven rack and it is very very good and so quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time